Hey there, amplifiers. So you may or may not have heard of the term transformational accounting. Well, if you have an accountant, wouldn't you want them to provide transformational accounting? <laughs> and if you are an accountant, wouldn't it make sense to offer it? We're going to be talking today with Eric Owings. He's the president of Owings LLC, and he is the featured advisor today. Um, he has a bachelor of science in business management in specialization in accounting. Over 10 years experience in insurance services, accounting, tax preparation, premium auditing, and virtual bookkeeping. And he has QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor Advanced Certification and is an enrolled agent. Welcome to Growth Amplifiers, Eric. Thank you so much. Um, I realize uh, I know the source of that information and you need to, uh, I need to add about five years to that experience. So. Um, but uh, good morning, Kenny. It's uh, nice to be on. I appreciate it. Yes, it's <laughs> glad to have you here and glad to be able to connect. And we talked about in the intro transformational accounting. So if we could kind of start off just with a little bit about how you got to what you're doing today and a little bit about what transformational accounting is. Well, um, OK, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, Transformational accounting is a, a term that I've coined. Uh, it is um, generally known in the field as a CAS. Uh, the American Institute of CPAs uh, refers to this as client advisory services. So uh, what this basically does is uh, answers the question that has uh, been asked by uh, people in a number of polls. And that poll question seems to be, uh, uh, how many of you would like your accountant to be more proactive? And uh, it's usually over 60% as, as a result. Uh, by proactive, I mean that uh, typical, and I, I use the phrase churn and burn, and I don't like to uh, disparage my peer group, but uh, when you open a brick and mortar CPA firm and you have so many people, um, I actually went through a long laborious process of getting uh uh, myself hired by a CPA firm back in the early part of the tens. Hmm. And uh, it did not go so well because of my apparent age, I think, because people would ask me, so you want to work 100 hours a week as an accountant during tax season, huh? <laughs> I got no poker face, but I really didn't want to do that. <laughs> so, um, but um, when these CPA firms are um, uh, dealing with that kind of volume, they're basically dealing with the compliance issues. They uh, get a set of facts, uh, send out questionnaires, uh, fill out a tax return, file it. And then 11 months later, if the uh, client was happy, they come back. Now, transformational accounting basically uh, is like a non-equity partnership where I'm mm -hmm. working with the client year round. <clears throat> And we're doing more than just mere compliance, besides also doing all the accounting things and making sure they have clean books at all times. Uh, entrepreneurs need to do estimated tax payments. This is the entrepreneur's withholding, which, by the way, is the title of a blog on my website. Maybe you can ask me that later, but uh, um, I would love to send people there. Um, so that, uh, but taking that even a step further and really putting it on anabolic steroids, OK, Whoa. yeah, and get strong uh, so that you uh, basically are not only able to see all your key performance indicators um, uh, because we're presenting the kind of reports that uh, leave the mere, uh, you know, the holy trinity of financial statements is the profit and loss in um, balance sheet statement of cash flows. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, you take that and you add the kind of. Um, performance indicators that uh, really tell people exactly where they are uh, historically, but take it a step further and actually go into forecasting with variable drivers. So um, I kind of cooked up that term in my head myself, transformational accounting consultant, and uh, I am uh, proud to be able to do that for a select few people, and uh, um, it's gone really well. I really love the fact that you're going beyond just checking the boxes because that's that's something that I'm I'm working with people right now to start trying to see the bigger picture. You can just do checking the boxes, but people have challenges and if you can help them identify what their challenges are, 
and then give them the tools and the guidance to solve them, then you're providing a greater service for yourself and for them. Right. So what are, what are some of the, which one of the biggest challenges that you're seeing in businesses as you're connecting with them? Well, I would say, uh, when I'm talking to people, um, it is usually something to do with tax compliance. But uh, even if they've uh, done a fairly good job of uh, keeping, you know, their filings current and uh, making their payments, um, I see uh, in my particular niche, which is a real estate investors, um, mm -hmm. a lot of really good top line earners, guys that know how to uh, get the properties and get them fixed up and sold, but they don't know why they're their cash isn't matching uh, their performance. So uh, cash flow and uh, net profit is another big one, but also um, uh, people get sick and tired of paying uh, over a quarter of everything they make in taxes as well. Right. So um, I would say the three biggest challenges then in summary is, uh, you know, cash flow management, uh, uh, net profit and uh, tax issues. In other words, in paying paying way too much tax. <laughs> hey there, this is Kenny from Growth Amplifiers, here to ensure you get your awesome ideas into action to grow and improve your business and achieve your full potential. Take the first step by visiting growthamplifiers.com and clicking the Start Here button. Take the assessment to get your personalized score. Then select from free resources to learn how to improve your score. Don't wait, be proactive, and take action now by visiting growthamplifiers.com and clicking the Start Here button. And always keep on amplifying. Now, let's get back to the show. And uh, and not even realizing it, not even knowing there's a there's a better way. Um, so, what is an amplified action? Somebody that may say, "Hey, uh, yeah." My, my accountant just kind of like does, you know, does the bare minimum. They're not necessarily guiding me on how to improve. Um, maybe I am overpaying in taxes. I don't know. Uh, what is an amplified action? What is something that they could do to, to start making forward traction and getting better in this, in this area? Well, um, for those who uh, have been thinking about the S corporation election, and I've had friends tell them, oh, you should really do this. You save a lot of money in taxes, but they don't really know other than, you know, just uh, maybe sit in a happy hour and talking to uh, friends, uh, networking type things. Um, if you have what I term active income, which is basically non-passive is rental real estate. Okay. Passive income, excuse me, as if you uh, take rents. And that's not really super fair because in fact, um, you have to do some work if you're going to be a landlord, but nevertheless, anything other than that uh, is basically ba um, subject to self-employment taxes. And I can cut those in over half of what people are paying. I could take a hundred thousand dollar net income earner and put seventy seven hundred dollars back in their pocket where it belongs and out of the greedy clutches of Uncle Sam. So uh, that would be a big amplified uh, action. And then on a, on a lower scale, making good estimated tax payments avoids underpayment penalties too, and that save, saves hundreds. And um, if people have a family, they have kids, you know, this is money. It's basically they're losing this money, and it's actually costing them that. If you multiply seventy seven hundred times twenty over a twenty year, and that's assuming you can retire that quick these days, <laughs> but um, what's that? About a hundred and fifty four thousand dollars. Ooh, yeah, that's so, kind of re ridiculous. Um, <laughs> all right, so if somebody's listening to this and they thought, um, man, maybe I need a transformational accountant or they wanted to learn more about you, your business, and what you offer, where could they go and what could they do? Well, one of the simplest ways to uh, reach out to me is um, I and my um, staff uh, basically monitor our uh, Facebook and LinkedIn accounts pretty regularly. And uh, anyone that reaches out to me in a direct message, uh, we respond within 24 hours. Um, I can also uh, point you toward a website uh, to yes. book a call. So uh, that website is owingsllc.com slash work dash with dash me. Uh -huh. so, if you uh, or Google Owings LLC work with me, it'll come right up. So and transformational accounting, we do offer a couple of uh, lower tier uh, offers as well. 
um, we are reintroducing a one and done tax preparation, uh, white glove tax prep service, um, as well as um, the service that has uh, gotten us to where we are today, uh, which is basically a fractional CFO services where we do full charge bookkeeping, all the accounting, the journal entries, and all the tax planning things that I mentioned, including uh, 29 compliance points. If you have a state income tax in your state, and 41 out of 51 districts too, because <laughs> I'm counting DC, then uh, you have 29 uh, bases to touch around a very large ball diamond. So that's uh, basically, uh, that middle level handles that. So you have a choice when you land on the work with me page. Uh, but uh, fractional consultation is on, excuse me, I beg your pardon, transformational consultation is on top choice. And uh, uh, that's a full hour where we get to know each other and see if it's a good fit. So that's a great way to open the conversation. Awesome. Well, if you're tuning in and transforming what becomes possible for you and your business sounds like something that you'd be interested in. If you're looking for someone not just to check the boxes, but to work with you to help you grow and help you project a plan to get to your goals and help you achieve them, then definitely give Eric uh, reach, reach out to Eric, his team, check them out. They're awesome. They take care of you. So thank you very much for tuning in to growth amplifiers. Thank you, Eric, for joining us today. It is my pleasure. To show your support, take a moment to amplify this message by sharing it online. To connect with me or gain more business growth insights, visit www.growthamplifiers.com. Thank you for your support.